Today, I'm going to be showing you how to get and use the Shindo GUI with plenty of features like auto farm, no clips, god mode, and more. Enjoy. All right, guys. So once you're in the first link in the description, you should see this page. And what you guys are going to want to do is click on that gray script right here that says get script. And once you clicked on that button, it's going to open like an ad like this. Just X out click on it twice and it might also download something if it does that you can just delete it but once you clicked on the button twice the third time it should bring you to this control C page where you guys can copy the script after you guys have copied the script you're gonna want to load into your game as you can see right there today I'm gonna be using synapse synapse does cost $20 but you guys can get a chance to get it for free and all you need to do is leave a like Comment down below your favorite feature from the GUI and then be subscribed and just wait until we hit the subscriber goal, which right now is 125k. We're getting close, so you know, maybe do that soon if you guys are trying to join a giveaway for 13 Synapse keys. But, anyways, let's click on play. And I'm not sure if I have a character set up on this account, so let's see. And it seems like I do. I do have a character which is level 47, and believe it or not, it's from auto farms i mean i mean i'm sure you guys could pr probably believe that <laughs> but anyways attach your executor and then execute it and once you guys have executed the script uh you should see this gui let me open it up left alt kind of a weird key like no other gui i've seen uses that but anyways uh now you guys have the gui up all right so let's start off with the character section and let me just tell you all the sections first. So we got character, which is you guys can change your look. You got auto spin, where you guys can auto spin as it tells you. You got auto farm, where it auto farms a bunch of settings. You also got some farm miscellaneous stuff that goes along. Uh, you also got press keys, so a bunch of different keybinds. You got some miscellaneous settings, like you can set your elements, some settings for the GUI, and info. So here's the info, you know, the credits kind of, you guys already saw this, but let's start off with the, you know, character stuff. So we can change our outfit. So this is my current outfit. You guys see it. Uh, we, let's change it to 60. Oh, there we go. Now we got a red outfit. Let me keep changing to 99. Oh, now we got just like a plain blue. Okay. Anyways, you guys get the idea. You can change your outfit with that scroller. You can also change your beard. I don't know how I can see my face. Uh, but you can also add a beard you uh, change your hair. Let me change my hair to 62. There you go. We can change my mask my cloak uh, My access you guys can do every single like change for your character uh, You can change the skin tone you can become orange. Oh my gosh <laughs> that, That's not even possible normally. So I guess there is some like extra customization your hair color we got to do that red hair and our eye color uh we we can do green we must look crazy you know if somebody saw us uh they would be kind of scared and would probably run away because we got like some bright red hair our skin is orange and we got bright green eyes okay well anyways let's go on to the next section which is the auto spin and right here you guys can add a bloodline you can scroll a bunch you know like you can almost infinitely scroll like there's so many options you choose what you want and you can also remove a bloodline probably we shouldn't do the same one though right uh, so just choose what bloodline you want to remove and stuff you and then you can start spinning you can spin two three or even four so uh, you can also add a bunch of elements like you can do lightning and also remove an element that you guys select and then you can spin all four slots and down here, you can also add breathing, whatever you want, you know, any of these options. And then you can also remove or spin. So lots of spin options right here. And I know a lot of you guys like these like infinite spin kind of thingies. So pretty cool, I guess. You also have some auto farm settings down here. So you got your tween speed, which you guys can change to whatever you want. Default is fine. So I recommend you leave it, but all you need to do is turn it on and then it starts auto farming as you can see i'm not sure what auto farm this is but it's an auto farm okay that's all i know uh and we can also adjust some settings oh uh, oh i'm sorry hey i'm sorry guys oh oh okay they're kind of they're kind of trash 
They didn't even kill me. Okay. Well, as you guys have saw, that was a success. Uh, so let's go. W for that. And anyways, we also got some story mode missions you guys can do. Lots of choices here. But I don't really want to... I don't want to farm. So let's do cancel. But anyways, as you guys can see, I'm not sure what level I am. Or why I can't... Oh, <laughs> I just leveled up 30 times with this like few minutes of auto farming. So obviously it's pretty overpowered. And I mean, you know, it's super simple. All you had to do is just click on auto farm and you start auto farming. Can you stop attacking me? I know I started first. Oh, oh. Okay, uh, like we were doing, we also have auto farm mission. So you're gonna do the missions auto farm. And you can also change a bunch of the settings here. Like you can cancel missions. You can change your transparency with your camera. You can change the distance. You can make yourself look at the mob. Enable no cooldown. And all these are on automatically. So I do recommend you just keep them on. You can like turn on God mode if you want. Pretty cool. You can also add points, you know, you put that and a bunch of other stuff here. I mean, honestly, the default settings work really well, as you guys could tell. But anyways, let's move on to the miscellaneous. So we have other stuff. Oh my God, how am I still alive? I'm in the ocean. We also have auto rank, pretty cool stuff. We got auto collect scrolls. We got ignore scrolls, or this is for the auto farm, but you guys get get what I mean and you have a bunch of other stuff like no clips you know you guys can no clip oh okay good thing there was there was a floor there because I almost died but anyways uh, you guys can also do like kill aura pretty overpowered you know uh, wait for the mob god mode you know and you can change your bloodline level uh, your level element your level I'm not gonna say that <laughs> and yeah you also have the key section right here so you guys can press all the different key binds so i mean you probably have to set them first but then again you can use these but that's all for this and let's move on to the miscellaneous section so right here you got no cooldown you can save mode disable mode and enable it and you also have disabled effects i do recommend turning that on and you can also unlock I just try to unlock a bunch of stuff, but I need a higher level, so I can't really unlock them. But if you guys are a higher level in this game, and for some reason you're exploiting on your main, just, just make an alt and auto farm for like a night, and you'll probably be at like level 1000 something, you know? Let's be honest, this it's pretty overpowered auto farm. Uh, but you can also select a weapon, a mode, a kit, more bloodlines, elements, and you know what? You're your Kenjutsu, there you go. <laughs> I didn't fail with that. And lastly, your GUI settings where you can change the color of like the background, we can do like gray, the glow color, you know, a bunch of different customization settings. You can reset them too. your transparency, uh, your prefix, which right now is left alt. Like I said, kind of weird, but whatever, it works. And lastly, you can like teleport to other players. So let's go to King Drew, is this his name? Hey, stop running, hey, get back here. Oh, there he is. Hey, stop running, get back here, sir. You know what, I'll just, okay, he just failed that really bad. But let's just teleport to him again. Corrupted King Drew, hey, stop. All right, I'm right here, you cannot escape me. Oh, what? What just, what just, he, I don't know what just happened. <laughs> but anyways, you guys can teleport as you could see. You can also rejoin the game, and lastly, close the GUI by clicking on kill GUI. But anyways, guys, hopefully you did enjoy the video. And if you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe down below. Remember, we are trying to hit 125K. And once we hit that, we will be doing the Synapse X giveaway for 13 keys and one key for my members. And speaking of my members, thank you guys for joining the channel. All right here, you guys helped me do these Synapse giveaways. And also you guys joined a one key Synapse giveaway just for being a member. And that's kind of like a thank you. But anyways, thank you for sticking along till the end of the video. It means a lot. And hopefully I'll catch you in the next video. It might be another one this week, maybe a few uploads because I do have a few days off school because it's some holidays, but we'll see, okay? No promises, but I will probably be making one or two extra videos, but I'll catch you in the next one. See you guys.